Having recently returned from patrol, the comrades of Lord Belt walked the corridors of High Hall, approaching the quarters of Elturel's sovereign lord. Word of the unforgivable is in the land. Forces without virtue, it is whispered. Forces both powerful and corrupt plot against good Lord Delt. In a rush of explosive magic, the door to Delt's hall is torn asunder. It is too late. With each stride toward the door comes the icy realization of failure. Amid the debris lie Delt and the mage Baranta Chansa, still alive, yet both mauled by the ferocity of the attack. Thank the gods you're here with us. By helm, if only a moment sooner. The assassin who sought our lives has failed, but in his hand lies the holy symbol of Helm, the amulet torn from me as we fought. The cutthroat moves quickly toward the forest beyond the castle. Stop him and retrieve the amulet! Go now! A vow to Helm is sworn in Delt's presence, and the quest begins. Never shall the lord of Elturel see his comrades again, until the amulet is safely in their hands. At the gate, an order to raise the portcullis is given. It ascends all too slowly for those whose blood seethes with anger over the assault on Lord Delt. Hours later and far beyond the hearths and homes of Elturel, the assassin's trail leads into an autumn wood. The apparent peace and beauty of the setting belies its danger.